Hello and welcome to the SolidWorks tutorial. Today we are going to cover the whole wizard in the SolidWorks. For this we have to create a body. Go to a plane, sketch and take a center rectangle. Start from origin and drag it. Dimension it. Let's say 100 mm and length 200 mm. Simply click OK and go to feature in extrude up to any height. Let's say 20 mm. OK. Now we are going to create the hole in this surface. Activate the hole wizard command. You will see the two options type and the position. First of all, you have to define the type and then you have to choose the position. Let's go to the type. There are many types of holes, counter bore, counter sink, and normal type of hole. And this one is a straight tap, taper tap, and the legacy hole. And in the another row, you will find the counter bore slot, counter sink slot, and normal slot. This is the standard. You have to select as your choice. Let's select the one type counter bore standard is ISO select a type of the hole is a hex screw guide now here is the specification for the hole let's select the size M12 and 3 in the 3 types of fit close normal and loose select normal you can change the other dimensions of the hole itself this is the diameter of the through hole this is the diameter of the counter bore and this is the depth of the counter bore simply uncheck now now there is a in condition blind through all means up to the object whole object or you can select the next object next vortex next surface or the offset from the surface there are other options also and this is the near side counter sink diameter and this one is the near side counter sink angle you can change by clicking them these are the default values for this type of hole now after selecting the type of the hole you have to select the position click in the position now you have to select the surface i am going to select this upper surface now you can see the preview of the hole click anywhere you will see the activation of the point you can click other point also and go to normal and you can dimension this from the any point suppose from origin this is 60 mm and this point from this point is a 40 mm you can dimension this point also 60 this this point to this point one dimension this point this line 40 mm now the sketch is fully defined simply click ok and ok now if you go to the design tray you will find two sketches first one is for the location that is position of the hole you can edit this sketch and change the position and the second one is the dimension for the hole I recommend you not to change edit the sketch rather you edit the feature you can change the features from here you can change the type of hole by selecting them you can change their options types as your requirement you can change these dimensions also in this way you can use the 
whole wizard in the solar box same to click ok let's select the counter sink and click ok the parameters are invalid here let's change the value and try it now it works in this way you can use the whole wizard in the solar box